Hi friends. In this lecture, we will see how to import table metadata from Redshift to AWS Glue using crawlers. As part of this lecture, we will see how to connect Redshift from Glue, how to test our connection, and finally, we will load table metadata into Glue from Redshift. Right. Let's move on to AWS Glue console. Before moving on to AWS Glue console, we will move to AWS Redshift, Amazon Redshift. So this is my Redshift console. Here I have created a cluster called AWS Glue. In this cluster, I have a database called AWS Glue. Then user is AWS Glue. Under AWS Glue user, I have a schema public. So under public schema, a table is available called Jomato underscore rest. So this is the query to retrieve your data from Jomato underscore rest. So this is available in public schema dot Jomato underscore rest. Right, now we are going to retrieve this Jomato underscore rest table metadata into Glue. Before moving on to Glue, let's have a quick look at table metadata in Redshift. If you can expand this table, we can see column of the tables along with data types. Now let's move on to AWS Glue console now. Go to connections tab. Here, click on add connection. Here, we are going to create a connection name called Redshift underscore Glue then choose connection type. Here I'm choosing as Amazon Redshift. Then click on next. Right, so here we need to provide the cluster. Once you gave a connection Redshift in previous window as connection type Redshift, that will fetch your clusters automatically. See here from the drop down list, we need to select the cluster that will retrieve your database name and username here we need to provide the user password then click on next right so he, you can review your steps over here and click on finish now your connection got created successfully it's time to test our connection just select your respective connection here and click on test connection to test your connection, we need to provide the IAM role. Choose your IAM role and click on test connection. Now that will open a pop-up window testing our connection is in progress. So let's wait for some time till it got completed. Right, now the connection successfully connected to your instance. So our connection is ready. If you can see here, the type of the connection is JDBC connection, right? Now just move on to the crawlers to create a crawler. Add crawler here, provide your crawler name. It's Jomato underscore Redshift. And click on next. Here we need to choose a data store, JDBC. Provide your connection from the drop down list. Here we need to include the path. So we need to provide first database name, then schema name followed with your table name. So make sure you need to provide the exact path here. Public dot Jomite underscore rest. Then your database is AWS Glue. Database schema, then your table. If you want to crawl all your table available in public schema, you need to mention here percentage that will crawl all your tables and load your metadata. If you place a particular table, that will crawl only your respective table. Now click on next and add another data store. I'm placing as no next and provide your IAM role from drop, drop down list. Click on next and frequency run on demand. Click on next. Here we need to provide the database. So I'm selecting 
from available databases food underscore apps then click on next so you can review everything over here and click on finish now my crawler is just got created uh, now i'm going to be run my crawler click on run it now so it is trying to attempting to run our crawler and it will give one more pop up now Jomato underscore redshift is now running. So just wait for some time. Right. Now crawler got completed and that created one table in our data catalog under database food underscore apps. Now just move on to the table section and open your table. Now as you can see here, the name of the table, database, classification is redshift, connection is redshift underscore glue. And if you can see location here, database your schema then table name and if you can scroll down you can see schema of your table column name data type so if you want to do any modification to the table just go to edit schema and if you want to do any if you want to add any column here just click on add column or if you want to delete any column just select here and click on save so this is how we will create a connection to Redshift and test the connection. Finally, load metadata into Glue. Thank you, guys.